Hey, Jared, thanks for jumping on and sharing your fitness journey with us. Uh, can you tell us a bit about you and uh, where you're from and what you do? Yeah, too easy. So I live in God's country, that is Bris Vegas. Um, I have a professional job where I work in recruitment, which is quite taxing, uh, being fair long hours. Um, I lead a team um, and I've just been going through a bit of a life change with weddings, with holidays coming up, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I live a very kind of hectic, uh, manic lifestyle. Um, yeah. Uh, but you're still, still making it happen, you know, and you're still getting this workouts in, which is great. Well, I try to do anyway, yeah. <laughs> Some weeks are much better than others, that's for sure. It's been a very eventful journey. It's, uh, uh, looking forward to, to hearing more. So uh, t- tell me a bit about before, um, before you started working with me, like uh, where were you and uh, what was it like? Yeah, too easy. So I think I've bounced around from PT to PT occasionally. Um, sorry, uh, what was it? So it was... Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, jump through the question again, sorry. Uh, prior, prior to working together, so before, uh, like, what was it like? It's been awesome. Okay. We've been together for a couple of years now, but, uh, yeah. Too easy. Prior yeah. To it's hard to think back all that way. <laughs> um, so I, I think I was definitely bouncing from, like, um, gym to PT and, and PTs, I should say. Um, <clears throat> and I think uh, the, the challenge for me is when I was kind of in between the PTs, um, it was more kind of just doing it at my own pace, thinking, okay, this is what I should be doing or utilising, um, I suppose, what I've learned, but without, I suppose, much supervision or kind of guidance um, was kind of before you. Um, and then I remember meeting you through your old gym at the time and I think we just hit it off and it's kind of just worked out quite well over that time. Oh, that's awesome. Um, were, 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 were there anything that you were kind of skeptical about prior to training, you know, joining? Yeah, so I, I think when, when you look at um, like engaging somebody and getting their services, you always do question, um, obviously, the legitimacy behind them and their credibility and their capability. Um, and I, I think especially like in personal training, the good thing is that you do have like a certification to get, but there's a lot that you know and a lot that you don't know um, with like any type of profession. And I think what I've seen a lot of in the past where you get a certification, a piece of paper, um, you can only do so much, but it's more about life experience and about what you learn in the field that actually separates you. So I think where my concern was more or less is going, okay, um, can you walk the walk and talk the talk, essentially? And with what you're telling me to do and that type of stuff, will that actually come to fruition? And will I be rewarded from the work that you're telling me to do? Um, Yeah, so it was probably more around that credibility side of things where the concern was, Um, yeah. Okay, well, that's 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 quite a big checklist. It's good you do. Your yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you do your due, due diligence. So, um, so tell me, what, why why you started training with me, uh, in particular? Cool, too easy. So, I think, um, look, especially in the Brisbane market, and I'm always one for saying it is, um, it is a very relationship, and you have to be naturally kind of um, gelled, meshed with the person that you're partnering with. Um, and I think for like coming on board with you and, and how I kind of found you was you've got a very kind of caring, inquisitive side, but a very lax side as well. So we both know that I'm not the easiest person to get along with and um, I can be quite stressed and frustrated at times. And I think I've been a lot more better in the last couple of years compared to when we first started. Um, but you've been very knowledgeable and very patient. And I think that what, what I found when starting with you, what was very different compared to a lot of the other personal trainers that I was training with was that you had a bit of a spirit, spiritual side and more around like mental health and mental well-being. Um, and something that I also kind of learn is, especially when you first start training, because your body's not adapt to it, you do and are more risk of kind of injury. Um, and that's because obviously you might not take taken like correctly what you taught me around the techniques or something like that. And training by myself for uh, the odd days when I'm not training with you, um, you go, okay, shit, and, and injure, injure yourself. But what I found to be quite valuable is that in those times where you do have a bit of a slip up and you, you kind of almost like take a step back, you're there to basically shape and kind of go, okay, that's fine. We're just going to have to tailor this now. Or how about we do this instead to compensate 
um, for basically you, that, that injury, whether it's your back or legs or whatever it is, and strengthen your back or strengthen your core or, okay, do these kind of um, in, in line with your um, physio to kind of get you back on track. Yeah, yeah, these things come, you know, pop up along the way and um, mm. yeah, we navigated through quite a few challenges and uh, yeah, mentally and physically, uh, you know, these things pop up. But uh, and also, you know, some of the events that have happened recently as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's like getting married and <laughs> and uh, travels and yeah, and chasing kids out or trying to break into a car as well off a wall probably doesn't help oh. either. I need to drink my foot, but yeah. <laughs> 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 oh it is eventful okay um t- tell me what what has been some of your biggest breakthroughs uh since working together sweet that's gonna be hard for me to kind of think off the bat because i'm i'm, I'm never really thinking of that type of stuff um i think probably my mentality a bit more um where I used to kind of throw in the town and be like, oh, I don't really enjoy doing this exercise. I kind of see a bit more of a why, um, a bit more of a bigger purpose. Um, I definitely hated doing legs. I definitely hated doing abs. Um, but I think you've kind of seen me, helped me with seeing the light, I suppose. Um, so it's, not, it's even though it's not the most enjoyable for me, I actually don't mind it now. Um I think as well, like just kind of breaking things up into a bit more chunkable sizes and um, just kind of focusing on a bit more achievable stuff um, would be probably the key ones off the top of my head. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's fair enough. That's uh, those are pretty good points. Yes. Uh, I, I know we've also had some good one-to-one sessions and, uh, you know, we went through journaling and gratitude and, and those kinds of things. So, you know, uh, really good mental health and, um, yeah. It's, meditation and that type of stuff yeah breath work yeah yeah so um yeah th- those things can help you know relieve the stress and help us be more present and more more in the moment and also self-aware of how we're moving our body and um mm-hmm. that's can be both preventative and also progressive as well um, yep. performance and uh we went pretty in-depth in the goals uh recently as well the the visualization remember for the year mm-hmm. and a lot has happened since and we only started the year. But uh, you know, you've you've done very very well. The consistency has been great. Uh can you tell us what have uh, been some of your specific results that you've experienced along the way? Sure. Um I th- I think the, the results are I've I've noticed um I think the biggest thing for me would be that people what they've realized and that they've noticed. So the, the key things are people kind of coming up and saying, hey, it looks like you've lost weight or it looks like you've got bigger around the arms and that type of stuff. I think that's kind of the biggest things for me because I'm very much, I don't really tend to take notice in that. Um, and it's probably a high degree of imposter syndrome as well where I don't see myself in that light and I'm not always kind of looking for the nicer things, um, the things that make you feel good and what you've, you've like achieved. Um, yeah, that would be probably the biggest thing for me. But I think when you go past the mirror, uh, and I'm not a very showy person when it comes to that. Um, I'm not the type of guy at the gym in front of the mirror and doing the flexing and that stuff. That's that's kind of cringeworthy to me. But each to their own, whatever motivates people, awesome. Um, but, yeah, but when I sometimes occasionally when I do go past the mirror and I kind of do see a bit of a difference in, in regards to definition, or if I am looking at myself, kind of making sure that I am doing the right technique, you can kind of notice a bit of a different definition when it's come to, I suppose, sometimes my legs or my arms and that type of stuff or my shoulders um, as well. And they're probably key things that I'm like, okay, it seems to be working, trust in the process. I'm actually happier with the results. Um, That's that's pretty much that comes to mind, yeah. (laughs) It's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, it's uh, there's there's many many different benefits you've you've noticed along the way, and uh, I remember the compliments, and um, you know, the breaking through of the challenges we had as well. You know, uh, with travels and so on. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's great great that you've been. You know, you keep going. Uh, what is it, can you tell us a bit about like our experience working together? Um, any highlights? Any any moments that kind of you remember? 
No, I, I, there's nothing like I can specifically go that specific time. I think if I'm looking at it quite from a, like a broad front or a summary wise, um, I think you've just always been there for some like for, for anything and everything. So I appreciate usually it's through messenger and it does take sometimes that a couple of hours, 24 hours to kind of come back. Um, it's just always been, I suppose, very comforting um, if I'm kind of going, hey, am I doing this right? Or um, hey, like I've got this issue at the moment, what should I be doing here? And just you, you coming back. Um, whilst I've been kind of giving you that waffle, I, I actually did have a, a kind of a thing that we did the hill sprints, which was pretty cool. I hated you for it, um, but <laughs> it was probably kind of enjoyable at the same time to a very small degree because I despise cardio. But you definitely got me out of my comfort zone. And I mean, would I do it by myself? No, no, I probably wouldn't. Um, but going with you to do that made it a lot more easy. It made me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, and yeah, it was actually, it was good. Like I actually feel like I achieved something coming off that, um, even though I was sweating bullets and it was very intense and I'm not a cardio person, but that's something that I can kind of reflect back on to go, yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> well, yeah, you made it all the way to the top and then we did it again and again. And again. Who would have thought, yeah, <laughs> several times. <laughs> Same with these. You came for the stair sprints as well. That the day it was raining. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. We changed it up so we didn't let anything kind of get in the way. Rain, hail, or shine. I suppose. Absolutely. <clears throat> and uh, even even the stretches as well. You know, um, remember the stretches and foam rolling. And uh, you've been doing those as well. And you said they've been quite helpful. Yeah, recovery. Yeah. Definitely should be doing it more often with you. It's just obviously with family, friends, um, other commitments and that stuff. And there has always been a mission over the weekends, but obviously with hopefully things are now freeing up, I can, I can do that a bit more frequently, hopefully before Europe anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay. W would you recommend, uh, you know, the program that we're on? Uh, would you recommend that to, to anyone? Absolutely. Yeah, what definitely. What would you recommend it for? Um, I'd recommend it for several various reasons. Credibility. So obviously, if I look at you, we've been working together for a while. Um, I definitely, you've definitely got my trust. I think as well from a lead from example. So if I kind of look at your journey through COVID, you're mentioning that, hey, kind of put on a little bit of weight, but this is what I've done to kind of work it all off. And you've definitely shown people your journey. So I think that's really cool. And if I'm to kind of recommend, I always kind of go off like lead by example in that respect. There's too many Insta vlogs that like, if you look like, look at that V shred guy and that type of stuff, it's just, it feels like they're talking at you and it's all marketing and gimmicking and they're probably on the roads and they're probably like doing smokes and laxatives and that type of stuff. Um, but at least I know like with you, you are very legit and what you see and what you say is what you do. Um, the other part as well is that I think it's from a, an easiness perspective like um a convenience i should say so like you've got the app you fill all of it in um you send it to people um a lot of it is kind of focused around videos um some of it you do have look this is the technique involved in it as well which is good so i think for somebody who is like needs to be seen see done and that type of stuff um that's why as well and you're quite accommodating as well so there are times where obviously if i've had a few questions you've got me over to, to your place at your gym to kind of do some of it it's not ideal because i know obviously it's a smaller gym and it doesn't have all the equipment to do it right um but definitely from accommodating in that perspective absolutely uh, it's nice being good um, yeah, we've definitely worked worked around things and you know made it happen. We did the checkpoints as well. We review the whole month and we take a look at activity, nutrition, sleep, mindset, and recovery, and uh, mm. work on what needs to be worked on, and um, plan forward, of course. You know, and uh, yeah, you've definitely had many wins along the way. Uh, and yeah, it's a it's it's a journey. It's, uh, yeah, you've done exceptionally well. Uh, and Thanks, man. I love that you make it a priority that you show up in the morning. You know, you get it done first thing in the morning before work uh it's it's not everyone's cup of tea uh, a lot of people don't like training in the morning but uh you know you've been consistent and you do it at the start of the week and you get it all done and um you know even despite being being a manager and you know dealing with teams in the very stressful, stressful situations you've um you know you've always found a way and uh that's yeah, yeah. Th thank, thank you, you. Yeah, we're gone. um 
can, can you tell us a bit, bit about like how life has been since, you know, since training together, um, you know, oh, I don't know if it's been years now, but uh, <laughs> what's life like now? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know how to answer that question because it's quite broad. Uh, is that more just around like how I'm finding myself, my body, or is it like, am I more comfortable or are you more reflecting on, yeah, maybe, um, I suppose... Maybe. Maybe prior to, like, say you were, you had all these PTs before and you did a bit of, like, gym class kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, so compare, that's compared to, to now. And, um, okay, too easy. Um, I think I'm definitely a bit more comfortable on my own skin, especially going into the gym. It is quite daunting going into, even still, it's still a little bit daunting going into a new gym floor in the bullpen um but i feel a lot more comfortable doing so now and especially if you haven't really got that background or if you haven't been training or anything like that you're just like am i doing it right uh, this is really awkward are people judging me etc um so I, I don't get that as much anymore I, I think if i'm going to a new gym i still feel a bit weird but obviously play music and drown it all out um the other thing as well is going into that is just like I feel more comfortable doing the stuff um, that you're assigning me um, because I, I used to hate doing, let's say, squats and more like deadlifts because I felt awkward doing it. And I was always kind of questioning whether I'm doing it right. Um, but obviously with your training and, and guidance, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable in doing that. And that's probably the difference in between versus then compared to now. Yeah, oh, that's great. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, thanks. And it's... Uh, Looking forward, looking to the future, is is anything that uh, that you're looking forward to, to going forward to accomplishing, in in the near future or distant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure you're saying this, but my trip to Europe and eating a shitload of pizza, pasta, and drinking a shitload of wine, um, <laughs> but from a health and fitness perspective, um, look, it probably will be coming back to actually take a bit of that off that. Uh, the kilos and that stuff um but i just think being like fairly happy with my fitness and actually i'm not going to be a massive bodybuilder i'm not going to be the shredded guy in the room or anything like that um just coming back to being quite happy with my fitness and actually being comfortable and not being like a, a lazy slob um but once again not being in that extreme end where i'm going to be like eight percent body fat i think if i can be at that 15 or 13 percent, i'll be quite happy with that and satisfied with my my lifestyle and with my in my work it just it doesn't match um yeah i'd have to be kind of in a very bland job i reckon if i'm to kind of pull that off to get that and it doesn't really kind of motivate me um, i'm very much of a touchy feel person taste and that type of stuff so like eating like drinking and that type of stuff um so i think if i can kind of get to that i'll be pretty pretty chuffed yeah yeah, that's, that's a great goal, for sure. Uh, and then how does it, how does this impact like your your work life? Uh, you know, your energy and you know those kinds of things. Yeah, I think doing it at the start of the day, I'm a lot more pumped. Um, coming to work, I'm a lot more aware. Um, I do prefer training midday and in the afternoons, but I just think with how work gets, it just, it does open up for failure where if I'm in a really bad mood or if I'm quite deflated, I'm probably not going to perform as well. So I may as well get it over and done with in the morning and actually feel better about myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much for for jumping on and sharing your fitness journey with us. It's uh, yeah, it's some really good highlights, you know, and um, it's it's been an awesome journey so far. And uh, looking forward to to going for those goals and making those happen. Uh, <laughs> past, past the Europe Europe trip, you should enjoy it because uh, yeah, it's been a painful year, and uh, yeah, but there's uh, there's a lot more months ahead for uh, for us to make awesome. some <laughs> Awesome, it definitely is, mate. Definitely is.